Hello, in this video we are going to talk about interaction of Mavlink protocol with the server, TCP server built on ESP32. Mavlink is a very important and very broadly used protocol, mostly used for drones. And as such, for the last years, he became very popular even in beyond of the drone application. So, in this video, we will send, by using Python on our PC, send the TCP message to the ESP32 server, TCP server, in the Mavlink protocol. We will uh, parse this into the uh, bytes and uh, see the Mavlink message and then send it back and receive it with the Python program on our PC. Regarding our resources, uh, we are using the repositories on Siemens IoT devices, where we are talking specifically on this repository, Siemens IoT devices, FreeRTOS, ESP IDF 5.0 Mavlink. And here we have a um, few files. First is our project file and this file, this is a C file in FreeRTOS that we have copied to our project. We created a project and uh, here it is inside our project. The, the additional file is a Python file which we will run on our PC. And this file we send a Mavlink message from our PC to the ESP via Wi-Fi and also we have our Wi-Fi credentials uh, header file which used in the Mavlink uh, on ESP32.c file okay those are those are our sources so we have two files here the one is the pro project file inside standard ESP IDF 5.0 project where we copied the C file which basically starts the uh, socket with the TCP uh, server on the ESP32 chip and also we have a, a Python file here uh, first we'll compile the file the ESP32 is connected via USB so we will flash our program our project on the ESP32 okay and uh, b basically this file is the same file which was used in the socket video series with uh, some adjustments and we used quite extensively in our last videos for Modbus and so on uh, this kind of solution Okay, so the, the server is running on our ESP32. This is the IP of our server, and this is the port of our server, which is open, and the socket is listening. Now we are using our Python file, and we are running it. Uh, we will, after the demonstration, go over uh, quickly on the uh, over the code. First, we received uh, the message as the heartbeat message. This is a Mavlink simplest Mavlink message was received, and then we have received back the parsed uh, Mavlink message. Here, uh, inside our ESP we received this message which was built from the header and the payload and send the same message back to the python uh, to, to, to the pc which was received by python file and this is the message that you can see here on the screen now let's go over the code and dive a little bit inside the code uh, okay, first the ESP32 code. We have a few includes, the data with our Wi-Fi credentials, the relevant port, and we have uh, three basic functions which are ac acting in main, the Wi-Fi wi connection, we wait a little bit, and then we ask, run the TCP server and with open TCP socket. Uh, 
sorry. This is a Wi-Fi connection that we use in this channel with the relevant uh, Wi-Fi credentials that are defined in the data.h file. This is Wi-Fi event handler, which show us different stages of the Wi-Fi connection. And here is our main uh, task, our main function, uh, which runs a server. All this initials, uh, initial uh, part of this function is a standard ESP server which was discussed extensively in multiple videos. Uh, we are initiating a standard uh, TCP server and it is going like till here. Here is a, a different part which is a Mavlink uh, connection. Uh, first we receive the file, parse it, and present it with appropriate uh, names uh, each field. Each field here is unsigned int, so it's like two bytes, and we have like 17 of those. Then we wait for a second and uh, copy the received Rx message to the TX uh, string, and then send the same TX string twice. First, we send it just to approve our Mavling message for the high, uh, uh, heartbeat function to check that this is okay. And then we send, send it in order to parse this message. In this uh, video, we are not closing the connection to allow this uh, server to function continuously. Now, let's jump to the Python file. On the Python file, we are using a standard uh, uh, Mavlink library, PyMavlink, and we import only the utilities, and also using the time library. First, we define the Mavlink connection, and here you see the same address and port which was shown here of our ESP32 server, and the port is shown here. Then we uh, set uh, the, the simplest Mavlink message, which is a heartbeat, just to, to check that the drone in, is, uh, is alive, so, so called. Uh, we build this message and then we send it and uh, print on the screen the, heart, the heartbeat was sent. We are waiting for, uh, for the reply. And here we receive our first message. After reception of our first message here, we put the heartbeat received. And then our second message, which is the same, is shown and parsed on the screen inside our Python window. So it's a short video just to show you how we can send and receive a simplest Mavlink message from the PC to the ESP32 via Wi-Fi. Thank you.